So uh, here's something that's silly that is not going to get the laughs that I want. Um, <laughs> like there's all of this, you, you watch a lot of science fiction, and there's a lot of criticism of science fiction in that we haven't become as technologically advanced in 2014 as the science fiction of yesterday might suggest that we would. You know, you hear this criticism, oh, yeah, well, there's no, like, uh, uh, air cars that fold up into your suitcase like the Jetsons. And, you know, if you think about it, that's a little unfounded in my book. Like, in some ways, we are really technologically advanced, and I think we take it for granted. You know, it's like Vulcans might have warp drive and phasers and transporters, but I guarantee you they cannot stream pornography on the internet as fast as we can. We have them beat hands down, I assure you of that. You know, and I'm saying that condescendingly, but as I speak it out loud, I do realize that I would pay $14.99 a month for Vulcan porn. <laughs> You had me at pawnfarmmilfs.net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another technology, too. It's like, you watch Star Trek, all of the functions of the tricorder, basically an app for the iPhone 6. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a good app. <laughs> and you watch Star Wars now, and you look at the resolution on the hologram that Princess Leia set, and it's almost embarrassingly bad. It's like, when was this story set? Where did you get this? A long time ago at a radio shack far, far away? <laughs> for episode seven, can we get HD for the holograms that they're spending? Like, if you went up to Yoda and you pulled out your smartphone and you explained Tinder to him, <laughs> he wouldn't believe you. <laughs> Nearby hot babes this device finds? Out of here the fuck get. 